South Korea and the US have promised swift, overwhelming and decisive action in the event of a North Korean nuclear attack as we have a Washington declaration jointly adopted by Presidents Yoon Song yeol and Joe Biden following their summit Wednesday. Yoon's on a six-day visit to the US as the two countries mark the 70th anniversary of their alliance. And one of the big questions lingering back home has been a debate over whether South Korea should arm itself with nuclear weapons to defend against the rising threat from the North, which has conducted an unprecedented number of missile tests since the start of 2022, while continuing to diversify its nuclear arsenal in defiance of the UN Security Council. But the declaration's gone another way, both through US commitment to use its nuclear weapons to defend South Korea and giving the South a stronger voice on nukes without actually having its own, as Yoon and Biden agreed to set up a nuclear consultative group, which will apparently be similar to NATO's nuclear planning group, According to the statement, they committed to engage in deeper cooperative decision-making on nuclear deterrence, including through enhanced dialogue and information sharing regarding growing nuclear threats. President Yoon explained further during a joint briefing after the summit. And President Biden also summarized the importance of their breakthrough in his own words. You know, what the declaration means is that we're going to make every effort to consult with our allies when it's appropriate. The bottom line here is there's even closer cooperation, closer consultation. So what we are still left with is the lingering question of how to engage with North Korea and de-escalate tensions to denuclearize. The Washington Declaration insists that both Yoon and Biden still want dialogue with North Korea without <laughs> preconditions. But even as the prospects for diplomacy look rather bleak since the breakdown of dialogue with the North in 2019, Yoon said they'd still achieve peace through an overwhelming superiority of strength not a fake piece that relies on the other party's goodwill. The declaration laid out plans to develop further military drills and to continuously deploy U.S. strategic assets to the peninsula, with an American nuclear ballistic missile submarine set to visit soon. That will upset North Korea. According to Frank Arm, the North may respond to this declaration with a show of solidarity with China or perhaps that seventh ever nuclear test we've been anticipating for so long.